Hello, YouTube. Ugly Prepper here. Thought we'd make a little video today. I can't see this screen. But, uh, been a real pretty day. It's been a real warm day here in Alabama. Took the puppies out for a long ride on the ATV today. Got in a little mud. Had a little fun. <laughs> it's, uh, it's always good to get out in the woods, especially when you, uh, especially when I got a broke leg and I can't exactly walk where I want to go without being in some sort of discomfort. So it was really good. Me and the boys, we got out and rode today. They chased me on the four-wheeler and uh, they just love to run. Uh, so we got out and did that. Hope y'all are all having a blessed day. I'll try not to say that again, but I probably won't remember. Okay, so we're gonna get over here. Uh, Walking around here through the yard. That's Ripper. I'll try to get over here where I can prop this tablet up here. Do a little talking. There's where I actually broke my legs right there. Or my leg, not legs. But I broke my leg going up those concrete steps right there. Yeah, and I haven't moved them yet. Uh, so, yeah, never ever use concrete blocks for steps it's dangerous but anywho here's my little block uh, camera stand here all right i think maybe you can see me uh first order business is got some mail uh yesterday um wanted to thank alaska prepper for my prize um this uh this is the uh, silver one ounce coin commemorating the trans-alaskan pipeline uh that'll actually mean more to me than uh than most will ever know i've actually lived in alaska i was uh i was like eight years old when i lived in uh, anchorage but uh, I've been to Fairbanks, I've been to, you know, there's beautiful places in Alaska. And, you know, before the Lord takes me back home, one of these days, it's on the bucket list to go back and just go and just for simply for photography. Because I love photography. That's one of my other uh, habits, hobbies. But uh, wanted to go and just take some pictures of the beautiful scenery up there in Alaska. So, thank you, Rudy. Thank you for all you do, brother. We got your package. Package received. The bees and the wasps and stuff are out here today. So, spring's definitely here. Whew, I wish y'all could smell that right there. Today, I'm going to be talking about fatwood. Um, in the south, we didn't ever really call it fatwood. You can kind of see some glistening on that one maybe um i grew up calling this stuff pine kindling or light or not uh you know when pine trees blow over on kind of tornadoes and that type of thing that's typically when we go out looking for what we call light or not which is fat wood same thing but uh, we called it light or not because we would found we'd find the stumps and you know, the grain kind of goes round and round. It gets all willy-nilly in the stump in the very bottom of the tree. Looked like it tied in knots, so we called it louder knot. Anyway, uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, yeah. We're gonna talk about some fat wood today. This is an old Soresto container. I don't throw nothing away, y'all, if I can use it. Uh, the one I made the char cloth in was one of these as well, so you can find uses for things. All right, I think I'm going to uh, take you all up here for a trip into the woods and show you a little something. And we might pause it while I'm walking. Okay, y'all, we're back. Uh, we're at this tree right here. About... Uh, 
I guess it was about a month ago. I came out here with a hatchet. Uh, I'm going to use my silky as a pointer here. And uh, whacked off. Uh, there was a, a small branch trying to come out. I took my hatchet and uh, it's kind of distressed the tree right there a little bit. And you see where all the sap is running out. I could take my hatchet today and, uh, and chip all this out and this would all be fat wood. You can cause a little... Rocky, what are you doing, son? My dog's out there pulling on something. That made a weird noise. Anyway, I'm... Uh, I'm always situational awareness. Yeah, anyway, um, anyhow, back to the point. This is, uh, you could chop all this wood out right here and it would be fat wood. Uh, and I'm not far from the house. I'm just kind of a slow walker with this leg. It's still technically broken. It is healing, but it hasn't healed up yet. Not a, an excuse, but whatever. Uh, okay, here's another one. Well, that one's really running out good. Uh, this, you know, you want to go low on a pine tree. This is probably three and a half feet from the very bottom. If I can show you the bottom of it. Uh, you want to go low on a pine tree, make a little distress in place or a little distress uh, or a little wound, I guess you could call it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But make a little wound right there and... Uh, I could come back right now, chop all this out with a hatchet or with my silky, and all this would be fat wood. So these are some ways you can get fat wood. Uh, I usually get all mine out of a dead tree that's blowed over over yonder. It's a good place to get it. But uh, anyway, anybody that's been out in the woods all their life, is going to know this already y'all but it, it ain't nothing new but uh i'm sure there are some people out here uh who are still learning i still learn things on youtube every day so i wanted to cover that that's you know you can uh make wounds on a pine tree and uh get it to produce that sap it'll take about two weeks to really get that sap going real good get out of the way doggies I got something wrapped around my foot. Go. Anyway, it's just a beautiful day. I've got to go in and read my Sunday school lesson here in a minute. But uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Let me hobble myself back over here where I can finish this video. Y'all walk with me, or hobble with me, I should say. No, I'm not throwing the balls on. Not yet. Wrong time. So I'll just keep walking out here, depositing it in front of me. All right, back on the other side. Anyway, uh, wanted to cover that. I, I figured uh, since I've kind of started the fire starting in the char cloth. It seems like I have started a, a series of sorts of videos, and so I know other people have these same ones too, but uh, these are some things I know a little bit about, so I love my silky. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to cover those. I hope you're all, I said that already. I get to where I just go in a circle. Um... You know, people ain't always going to do right. Uh, there's been a lot of talk on YouTube about uh, people posing as preppers, and, and I get it. They're doing people wrong. But you can't just harp on it every day, every day, every day. Y'all got to let it go. Uh, you know, the Lord says uh, we have to forgive others if we want to be forgiven by God or Himself. Anyway, just a little mini rant there at the end. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you later.